Okay, um, let's uh, bring the meeting to order. And it's what, 7.31? And shall we um, approve the minutes? Is it from March 18th? It was the last one, right? Mm -hmm. do, you, do you guys have copies of the minutes? I made one copy, I sent them out to everybody. Last time. I don't know with me right now, but it's, it's okay. Mm -hmm. Do we all want to go in? No, okay. I read them. Okay, everybody read them. Are we all good? Yeah. Yeah. I'll make a motion to accept. Second. Minutes. Okay. Aye. 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 Okay. Approved. Okay. Um, where is your agenda, Tim? Okay. Any, uh, should we review the North Hadley Hall? Anything new on that? Have you heard anything, Tim? No, nope. there isn't anything. No. Okay. Nothing more has happened on that. Okay, Senior Center. Anybody? Uh... I missed the last meeting uh, of uh, that committee, and so I am curious to find out what happened. Uh, I didn't get any minutes. Okay. Um, so I can give you a couple updates on the progress of the new Senior Center. They have hit hit one clay pipe they don't know where it's to where it goes from and uh, they're going to have to put a it's about 10 feet down so they're gonna have to put a camera in and figure out where it is we're under the assumption that it's a, just a very old uh, sewer line or something that uh, has been abandoned there was water running through it it was just water it doesn't line up with anything, so again, they kind of suspect it might be um, nothing, but they have to put a camera Are you right on north, south, east, west? It's, it's on the east side, sort of on the southeast side, so. Uh, but water's running through it? But water was running through it, but that was just maybe picking up ground possibly water? because of high water tables. Yeah, well, 10 mm -hmm. feet down. Okay. Mm -hmm. It could very well be into the water table. Okay. So nothing of, of worrisome, but uh, it's something that I'm looking at. Uh, they, they're, they're digging for the footings as we speak. Everything uh, is going well. They, they, they know that they, there was some bad soil there. They're going to be processing that properly. So everything is going well. Kind of on time? Everything's on time. Uh, the, I believe that the uh, celebration for it's on June 4th, the ceremony, the ground breaking ground. the ground and everything, so everything's are fine. You, you the um, I'll take her today? Yeah. Okay. The auction sure. did happen last Wednesday, I believe it oh, was. Yeah. There was, really wasn't much that came out of that. Uh, there wasn't uh, many bidders. It's just unfixed items, not? That's correct. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if Change they're tables. going to probably do something else, but not, not much got sold. Dumpster? Uh, well, yeah, it just means another dumpster gets filled up. Tag sale. Right, yeah. so open that's, to the that's about it. Yeah. Okay, anything on the uh, library? David? Yeah, just trying to find some updates. Uh, it did go out to bid. Um, I believe the bids are going to be due pretty soon, so we should know by early, I think next week, where that's going. Um, and our next library meeting is uh, May 15th, so we'll be discussing that. So, so progress. Uh, we, we're expecting to possibly have our uh, contractor or contract sometime in June and uh, provide they get their building permit to be starting in July. <laughs> Can I get the drawings? Well, that too. <laughs> they should be ready. <laughs> they should be ready for that. So, um, while well, Tim's reviewing drawing type things as far as permitting and all, would they be demolishing the Hooker School? During that point, or that there, there's a there's some uh, work. It has to go out to bid, and that's part. That's mm -hmm. one of the bids. 
So after that's successful, there is a bit of upfront work before you see the building come down mm -hmm. because they have to bait the whole thing. That's going to take a little bit of time. There is quite a bit to bait. Uh, so I think it's still on schedule. Yeah, no, there's nothing that's yeah. not be on schedule. Mm -hmm. And the demolition is going to be part of the original bid, so it will be handled by the same contractor with his subcontractors. So the building a new library includes the demolition. Take the demolition. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And they decide to just put it all together. Yeah. Okay. And uh, the nice thing is that Hadley's allowing the building to be used by a number of um, state agencies, especially fire, uh, to do some specialized drills. Oh, that's good. In it. And I think that's going to start shortly. I don't. I. I don't know exactly the date, but it's. We're talking to the fire chief. It sounded like uh, it might happen very quickly. So they're going to do a lot of smoke tests, a lot of, you know, um, quite a number of things. And the state is coming in. Uh, that is a. It's a. It's good. For the, for them to practice in a building like that. Yeah. So there's a lot of different things they're going to be doing. Okay, any, that's the library, anything on the town hall? We were um, talking about columns last, any movement on painting of the columns? I had no time to uh, contact uh, okay. Larry Tuttle to find out the status of those specs, other than the last time I talked to him, which was right before our last meeting. Okay. Uh, everything was ready. But um, I don't know where that is. Sorry. Okay. Um, Russell School, anything going on with that? There was nothing last we talked. We no. No. Um, the hope is that we can get that uh, uh, reception table out of there at some point so we can do a couple other things. So I don't know what the status is and what we're going to do about that. Undecided at this point. Yeah, no, the only thing. Understand. That needs to be addressed, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, town election, we were holding signs. Um, what I noticed was a lot of storm windows open. Um, it'd be good if Gary or somebody could go in there and actually get them all closed just to keep the rain off of the, the wood on okay. those windows. Um, that would be just, I can, to me, a, a, just a maintenance thing. I wonder why they're open. I don't know. We walked because, through. Of March, right? Yeah, and I, and I can't say for sure that I even uh, yeah, I looked it. at that point. But standing outside, you know, I kind of I said, "Look at all these windows are open," and um, it's just yeah. the wood sills would rot more and just deteriorate. And they weren't. There was only like one or two that fell down. Most of them were lifted up. So um, okay, we'll you know, see. We'll yeah. check it out. Like th that, probably to be closed just for saving it a little bit. Okay. Um, DPW garage and sewer plant. Anything? At some point, I think we need to um, get Chris in to get. I think he's weathered enough that we can uh, start discussing the DPW site, uh, what he would like to see, um, and try to get some type of timetable on what that might look like, okay. and figure out which way we're going to go. Do you know if um, that telephone pole was mm. dealt with? No, I do not. Okay. I spoke to Willie about it election day, and he went down and looked at it. Yeah. And he said he made a call already by the time he got back to me that day, and he was going to call more people. But honestly, I haven't walked or driven down there to look. Okay. And he said that would be uh, Western Mass's yes. issue anyhow. So. I I can hit I can ask Willie tomorrow. Okay. And uh, public safety building anything? No, uh, there's nothing happening over there. Uh, the the HVAC uh, Gary has been in con quite uh, quite a number of contacts with the contractor trying to find a date when they're actually going to start the work. 
So I think everything for the contract's been accepted. Um, there was a few things that Larry Tuttle wanted worked out, uh, but I think right now it's just trying to get a date of when the work's going to start on the second floor. Okay, so the contractor's already been hired. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's just to get them. Just get them over. Okay. Okay. okay um, so that was public safety, future municipal sites. That's the uh, the North Hadley Fire Station. I believe today that the um, specs the uh, might have hit the streets mm -hmm. for bid. Mm -hmm. And I, they're supposed to be out only for a couple of weeks, so that should yeah, be. Yeah, it's only two weeks. Yeah. That's what the library is. Mm -hmm. So I think it, I think it hit the streets today. Okay. Okay. Um, Russell School parking lot. The, uh, it's a proposal from Berkshire Design, but we have two. So. Um, you know, this big dollar amount difference with a little bit of the scope is a little different, right? Slightly. Um, but I guess I would um, I would say right now with um, the with the way the planning board um, kind of put their foot down when they approved the senior center and uh, the new library that they said, um, you know, basically forget about doing anything with Goodwin because of lack of parking. This parking kind of doesn't count in their eyes across the street. So um, I guess if we were to, to move forward with this new parking lot, should we as a group um, go to one of the planning board's meetings and try to discuss our thoughts. Um, you know, I, I, I don't believe that tell me, town, the town building should be 100% following the way that outside businesses have to follow. You know, the, those rules and if we agree or not agree with um, how the planning formula is currently, that's one thing. but. Um, the town, I don't believe, should have to follow the strict rules of, say, a Walmart or a Home Depot or any of those others. So, um, but to me, we have a building that's worth millions of dollars sitting over there, and because no land to put a parking lot on that side of Route 9, it's uh, a big waste of taxpayers' money. And uh, I don't know if it's worth putting in a hundred. 200000 or whatever that parking lot's going to cost, if they're still going to say no to for the use of that library, because it should be, it would be good for this building, it would be good for that other town building, and, and who knows what's going to happen with Russell School um, there. So, I don't know, I guess my thought is we should talk to planning board. Um, or do we just go to ZBA? It's a variant. Well, yeah, we could do that, but I don't know. I kind of think, why not? Um, I don't know. Play nice and talk to them first. I, mean, I think it makes sense to go to the planning board just to get their feel of what they think. Yeah. They, even though it's uh, a zoning regulation, would they be amenable to uh, making a change for the town use? And if that's the case, then we can take the steps necessary to do that for change in the yeah. in the zoning. And then we don't have to deal with having to, to do that. And yeah, it, but it, it makes sense because we have historic buildings that are locked into where they are. They're not going anywhere, mm -hmm. and we don't have a place to park. <laughs> you know, for us to follow what those regulations are, it doesn't make any sense. No, they can't I don't, use Goodwin Library building if there's nowhere to park. Yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. it's it's still a town building. Right. It's still public. We still own it. Right. Uh, we're, we're still not, using it. We're not Nothing has changed there. We're not Northampton. We are a municipality, and we have no municipal lots. And right. surrounding towns have, you know, have lots. For people to park. And it's yeah. not just for municipal purposes. It's for, you know, commercial purposes, whatever. Right. It's a right. municipal parking. It's and it, 
to not have that available to us really does, you know, hamper our ability to effectively develop the center of town. Is there anything in the historic district overlay zoning regulations about parking? No. There's a no. Okay. You know, your idea of asking the planning board their thoughts is actually a good thing. We could say maybe there should be a change in the bylaws for municipal uses strictly. So it takes the, the, the business portion out of it. Mm. So they can't just go ahead and request the same thing. This is a municipal right. use of old, older original buildings. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it might be a great way of doesn't apply to new construction. So mm -hmm. that part, right? And and they may ask, um, well, what happens when the town decides to sell that building later? And maybe some thought would have to. Go well, we should that. have some sort of protection on it so right. that we still have access right. to it some way. Right. Um, but I, you know, that sort of thing. So maybe we should. I don't like to try to jump over anybody. So why don't we just talk with them and hopefully get the ball rolling and everybody can work together and because you know that parking in this lot where we are today um, you know Dan and I both backed in there you probably did yeah. as well yeah. try to back mm -hmm. out of there and not get killed right. you know there's a lot of traffic coming across that way so it's uh, it's an unsafe parking lot what the town has right now you wouldn't make it safer right so we'll make it safer um, and we'll have parking for Goodwin, which could become what town hall annex, I guess. Why not have multi-use parking? Right. Municipal parking. Is there any argument about potentially if the town does sell Russell School, what the what would happen? Would that make it a less desirable property to purchase if there's a town? Those are parking always good questions, you know? and th that's true. Yeah. I um, mean, but we still, we still one sit, way right? or the other. We're going to be either using this building or that building. Right. We need parking for right. both, yes. no matter what. Mm -hmm. There's no parking. Right. So we have three buildings right together on these three yeah. corners, yeah. and there's no parking. Yeah. And we don't have a municipal lot, and we need something. And the only other option I was thinking, and it's not ideal, would be to look at that lower ball field. I know it's floodplain, but it could be designed in such a way that's not going to make it any more detrimental than it already is. Um, but it's not convenient to the buildings. You know, you've got to climb up a hill just to get to your where you want to go, and it's certainly not accessible for that reason. I, w I would rather see if Russell School is ever sold, that you sell them or sell the field with that. include the, the, the use of that. Mm -hmm. They could build a parking lot, and yeah. that could be for that. And the school functions at night or whatever, you know, right. um, overflow parking for the school, um, right and in the deal, but it's too far away. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. uh, if, let's face it, in a few years when I come pay my taxes, I'm not going to want a truck up the hill, <laughs> you know, it's already too far out in the bad the weather and whatnot. Well, I know? only bring it up because that may be a question and I just, mm -hmm. yeah. I totally agree, no. mm -hmm. but yeah. you know, that's why we don't want to go right. with that location. Right. No, I think this is a good location. I think the lower ball field would be good for if somebody purchases um, Russell School. Somehow use that for parking. You don't really use it for playing softball or anything anymore. No, no, and they're going to be having other fields shortly. Right, right. They'll yeah. be getting the other property. Mm -hmm. But it could be a multi-use lot. It could be used for. The high school could be used for whoever has Russell School. Mm -hmm. Could be used for overflow for any large meetings within the municipal building. For a town meeting. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. the park on there. So um, I don't know, Tim. Is it something that you want to talk to Jim about getting us on there? I can easily um, email him and. They ask them to set a date for us to come on yeah. in so we can talk about that. I mean, I think they have their public comment period like right mm -hmm. before the meeting, so that would be the time to do it and just, mm -hmm. hey, what do you guys think? And, and then if we need to do more, we can make it a little more formal. But I can ask them which way minutes. you would like it. Yeah. Okay. And it might be 
do you want to go in front of the select board too and talk to them? I'm sure that they have our back already. Yeah, but yeah I think so. But um, well, Let's find out some more information first, I think. Okay. Yeah, but I, I think, and, unless I'm incorrect on, on the way it should go, I think we should go to the planning board. And then if we get... Um, way late on that. Yeah, then, then you talk to mm -hmm. select board or, you know, yeah. you know, you hate to go and... Mm -hmm. We got the right. we got the big guys behind us, so you guys do what we're asking. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'd rather approach the planning board and, and mm -hmm. let them know that this this is something that that at least this committee thinks that we need, and they can yeah. ask around the select board and whatnot and see what other people think. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's you know it, it definitely is something that should be fit into the master plan that it needs to you know you need to update uh, the center of mm -hmm. town. And you need to, uh, you know, update the, the zoning bylaws to be compatible with modern life in the center of town. Well, but it, but I would, I would be willing to say for municipal buildings, you know, yeah. because if somebody comes in and, uh, you know, it's even like St. John's Church. Okay, so there's no real parking there. Mm -hmm. They got a couple of spots. So if you say for a center of town, all of a sudden they're using that parking lot. You know what I mean? So I would... I would like to say, all I care about is protecting the townspeople and the tax rate, not right. for okay. some new guy coming in and buying up some of these big houses and then putting in a restaurant and say, I don't need parking, I have that right. one over there. Yeah. So that that's my personal thought on that. Well, luckily, our bylaws won't would not ever allow that, okay. but yeah. it does happen that the people do come in not knowing. Yeah, so, yeah. And and it's natural to try to get the most you can out of Oh yes. Nothing, you know. <laughs> okay, so speaking of Russell School, uh, you know, we did get we did spend money to have Larry Tuttle go through it with the engineers and everything to come up with an estimate. Um, we, we should start looking at yeah. that. What I could do for the committee is to um, ask some of the select board members and the town administrator if they want us to push for something for a fall town meeting as a question what to do with it. Or knowing what they have already, um, should we hold off until spring? But I can ask them that there will be some there will be some changes that uh, on our zoning bylaws mm. and a, a number of them that might be that I proposed um, that we put on hold until the fall uh, and that might be coming up too so but it might if we need to go forward with that we have some good pricing and I don't want to get too far down the road and find out those prices have to be re Redone. looked at again. Um, uh, how far into the future was he projecting? You know, was it was that like was as, that of, today as of today or was he actually saying, okay, five to ten years from now when he, you know, came up with the estimates for that? The estimates were based on, on today's yeah. pricing. Yeah, the library ended up being what? It's almost five hundred thousand dollars to wait a year yeah so that gives you a sense of mm -hmm. the more we wait on this building yeah. it's going to cost us more to try to save it so you know, it's unfortunate because we've got a lot of expense right now going on even though it's only 95 dollars per thousand average house but uh, and they <laughs> so and they're saying and they brought that forward again because yeah. it's been questioned so many yeah. times this like board meeting and they had all the powers to be, and everybody agrees that that's what it is based on what's coming off at the same time. And they projected out quite extensively. There was one or two years, and near the end, he was going to have a little hiccup. But um, I think they've done a remarkable job yeah. on that and um, really spent a tremendous amount of time getting that worked out properly. There, there was. I can't believe how many hours that they spent, and it was very articulate on trying to work out some type of deal to get that. 
And to our benefit, one of the reasons is we have such a good um, bond rate. And that's what's helping it. So. Um, they should get a pat on the back for that one. Because you're asking if we should maybe go to um, fall town meeting with a question. Mm -hmm. um, I guess my question is, we'll go back to uh, North Hadley Hall. Has there been any movement with the attorneys on figuring out um, the legalities of that ball field and whatnot? So they can I think sold? everybody's working on it. It's, it's okay. on the forefront to try to get all that worked out. Okay. They do have a realtor. It's being advertised. Uh, there are some. There are numerous inquiries, which is a really good thing. Mm -hmm. I've heard from directly from the realtor. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, but we're still with the uh, whatever is in the deed or find a deed. I I'm suspecting since nothing's really been said that it's probably a mute point right now. That it might require maybe something at town meeting, so we can all vote on it. But that would be the worst scenario, I think, at this point, because it's been so long and it's been in their hands for some time. Okay, so that that's kind of we're assuming at that point, at this mm -hmm. point. But um, you know, here we're into May, and all of a sudden it'll be October and town meeting and then they're going to close the warrant on that and you know how attorneys sometimes just kind of but something else is more important so um, is David uh, Nixon or anybody uh, like checking with these guys weekly? I would hope he is I can certainly ask for and send you guys an email okay. because it would be kind of um, well let's face it the sooner they get it going the quicker they're going to hang a sign and actually spend some money on advertisement and trying yeah. to unload it because, as you said in the past, you know, we're, we're selling this building for so many years, now you're going to talk about... Have another one. Yeah. yeah. And it is and concerning if we don't get through this. Yeah, yes. and you're, the things well, are just rotting away. It's a little away. unique because of the ball field. So. Yes, yeah, I, yeah, I understand, yeah. but... And I said I don't want to bring it to the townspeople yeah, until... Same situation. <laughs> we had this yeah. one resolved, and I still kind of say that. Yeah, no, it makes sense. But we'd hate to just drag it out let it sit for, you know, if it misses fall town meeting, all of a sudden now it's sitting through another winter. Mm -hmm. and well, it's, it's an issue. Yeah, so um, I guess hopefully David Nixon's mm -hmm. keeping track of the attorney. Yeah, the warrant usually closes the end of August in yeah. the years past, okay. so that's our kind of our deadline if we're going to do any, make anything proposed for the fall, so. You know, as crazy as it sounds, Time is flying by. Yeah. Yeah. That uh, Article 24, does that have something to do with North Hadley Hall? Yeah, what, what was that? Article 24, I don't know. Uh, select board to petition the general court to release land protected under Article 97. That's uh, it. That's it. Okay. That's it. All right. So that's kind of adjacent to North Hadley Hall. The week? This town meeting? Yeah. Yes. This town meeting, Thursday, Thursday. 24. Yeah, that just got released. So. Okay. That's all I saw. So. Okay, so it's up. Okay. So it's up for vote. We don't have to speak to that article at town meeting, do we? There's nothing our about, committee? Nothing of ours. No. Okay. Yeah. We got ours yeah. have been our postponed until postponed. fall. But that particular one we don't have no. to speak to. Okay. Not our one. So I wouldn't mind hearing from the select board, and I don't know when's the best time, just how they feel about the parking lot at Russell School, just to make sure that they're either all on board or, or who might not be on board and mm -hmm. why. Because I, mean, I think in the past there's been some question about should we do it if we're not going to own it. And, mm -hmm. um, oh, but, yeah. okay. but with the understanding that if we do it, that we would have some sort of a you know, something placed on the property that would allow us to continue the use there. I'm under the I feel that we you have to go forward with it. We have to have a parking lot. Yeah, so We've got two, bu three buildings, possibly only two, if we sell that one, but we still need parking, yeah. no matter what. Mm -hmm. So we should, if we sell off Russell, Russell School at some point, 
we don't sell that property, that portion of the property. We then go switch it with the uh, ball field. That would be a better parking lot for them anyways, because mm -hmm. that's the side that they're going to be entering, okay. not the uh, middle not street side. Yeah. Whoever uses that building. Okay, so basically we could almost go to uh, both boards pretty close together, whatever one falls first. And even if it's the select board first and says, we're thinking about doing this, what do you think? We're yeah. going to set up to meet with the planning board next week, right. you know, just so they know. And as long as we have the meeting <clears throat> set. Yeah. And uh, sure, I, I have no problem with that. Why not talk to them both? Because if, we don't, if we're not getting support out of the selectman's office, yeah. we yes. beat up the planning board right. for something. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, Tim, did you want to get into any of these, or you want to wait for David, or just are we have enough today? I or? I think we really. My my personal feeling, we should wait for David, okay. only because I think he has more of an expertise. Mm -hmm. I don't feel comfortable looking at those and and making a, a comment on one over the other. But if you guys do, I mean that's fine. I think we should wait only because we don't know if we're going to need zoning. We don't need or variance. We don't know if we you know what it means right. to go to the planning board. It could be another year before we even can design it. I mean, depending yeah. on, so we need to figure out what we have to do first in terms of the allowance of that parking lot being there. I think it's also good to look at the timelines for the other buildings are, as they're being built and what's the need, like when is the deadline well, for needing this parking lot? That parking lot is immediate for the library. Right. It is. Once and that construction starts, they've already told us, you're not going to have that parking over there. So. Right. People are either so they're going to they're have, have to come across the street anyway. anyway. Yeah. So I think or it's, yeah. we have to figure out a temporary parking space, which we could do. We could have something built in the front yeah. and have to remove it. But yeah. they could yeah. really just go and park, you know, right in front of Russell School on that triangle of um, blacktop that's there. Yeah. And I guess what's the library have at this point? Probably eight, about ten about, spots. Yeah, it's about ten, I think, or nine, nine plus a yeah. disabled yeah. parking. Yeah. So they, they could get that there as right. far as the handicap parking. Well, you know, that's supposed to be within so many feet, right? Right. So, um, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think it's needed. I mean, yeah. I, honestly, I think maybe our committee has maybe uh, overlooked this a little bit and we dragged our feet on uh, such an important issue. We probably should have gotten on this and it should be on, you know, town meeting for tomorrow. I mean, yeah. It, Really, yeah, it should have, but I think in the past it got shot down when we were thinking about yeah. it because they couldn't, yeah. nobody yeah. understood why we needed yeah. it. And then, you know, and we didn't, like you said, we didn't push it, but you, know, mm -hmm. you, you got to have cooperation, otherwise, yeah. it's not worth the effort. So, so Tim is right, we need, or David, you, we need to have talk to this selectman, make sure we got backing from them, yes, and then also go to the planning board, try to get backing from them. And I guess if you know, well, and see where it falls at that point, and regroup, yep. and see where it is, and and if everybody is um, negative on it, well, then we just move on. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. What else we can do? Well, yeah, I do worry of what's going to happen when everything gets shut down and there's no parking. Right. right. And there's yeah. going to be a real yeah. issue here, and it can turn dangerous. And I mean, we, we really, as a town, need to look at that, and even if we declare it an emergency, we should mm. do something, because yeah. it's going to be a problem. Well, I guess if everybody else says no, this this uh, group can go and just say we feel we, try. we need it because of mm -hmm. whatever, and, uh, you know, but I think if we go talk to both boards and explain why we're here, you know, we're not here just to spend money. Right. We're here for a reason. Mm -hmm. There's a need. Definitely yeah, a need and currently, I think when the library staff come, they park over the other side of Hooker School and walk yeah. over. Yeah. And that's so going to be gone. When is the right. 
All that parking, no parking yeah. just oh, north yeah. of Goodwin going to be closed off. I don't know. What I understand is it's going to kind of go back and forth from one driveway to the other depending on what they're working on and how they arrange yeah. the site. So also it will depend on what's happening at the senior center, what they need open. And there's a lot of unknowns right now, but the only thing I was told is that we need to figure out something with that parking. Yeah. Uh, I can attend this, the meeting with the architect tomorrow at 1 um, and talk to him and find out. Is that stuff. for the senior center? Or? Yeah. yeah. I'll do that, okay? Mm, yeah, good. I imagine demolition, you're certainly not going to get in anywhere near the good one. No, not during no. that time frame. Mm -hmm. But that's going to go down pretty quick. Yeah, but even yeah. so, it's, it's, it's a, a week. week, a few weeks. Yeah, we, we, we will take some time, but the yeah, yeah demolition will go demo. fast. All right, I'm going to have to change tomorrow. One o'clock. I think okay. it's going to be more pertinent when the library starts their side of things. So yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. That's what's going to be. Um, okay. Okay. Um, Set it on Russell School parking lot. Uh, and are there any other new items from anybody? I don't believe so. I got nothing. No. Okay. Um, anybody want to make a motion to adjourn? Motion. Second. Okay. Everybody in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. We're adjourned. <laughs>